Hello everyone and welcome to Dark Kings TV, your home for everything entertainment. Before you do any other thing, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell that is behind the subscribe button that is the red bell button you can see. That is going to notify you of our fresh updates. To continue to be a part of this community, please engage with our content by dropping a comment or two. Like and share everything you see from our end. We will be glad you do so. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. That is if it is not your first time, but if it's your first time here, welcome to this channel. Something has been going on on the internet and it's the saga of ex-besties, Tonto DK and Bob Risky. Now, this is not the first time that these guys have come on the internet to open their yashes or yash as the case may be but now it seems like both of them are even dropping more receipts and the friendship between these guys i don't think anything can bring them back together well we never can tell us the world of celebrities and honestly anything goes now the current beef that is happening you might be wondering what started it out as both of them are re i mean really re revealing receipts of things that transpired between them calling each other bitter and you know telling us everything that went sour with their friendship let me start from the very beginning of this current saga that we are seeing tonto dk came on the internet she went via official instagram page to expose how her colleagues you know rent money to show off she went on her instagram story she said several things that on this app we shouldn't let anybody intimidate us with wealth or lifestyle because she's an insider and she's telling us first and now that you may be doing better than some of us because people rent money from malams we know borrow the change to show you all post their friends cars as theirs and accuse another person of doing the same because oh my god fake life right she says all oh, now nah job on our packaging and she even further went ahead to reveal that it takes you know almost three hundred thousand naira to rent five million naira in ghana must go back and you know banks are the ones doing it and she says jokes aside but really do we should actually be aware that is our ex bestie but brisky decided that the shade was for her i don't know why or how bob risky felt like is she have that shade and so bob risky reacted to the shade and said that um there is something that you should not ignore whenever you want to start friendship with somebody she says be, be, knows that the first thing you should protect yourself is with your personal information that if your friends decide that they want to tell you their personal information they should not you, you should not tell them their personal information information Tonto DK picked it from there. The Natalie Shredion was on Instagram. Tonto DK now opened can of worms for her ex bestie Bob Risky. She was like, ah, stop there your own. Pig catch her. Now they know who they rent money. Please, you people should let me be. <laughs> you know, it's in bio, I keep friends. I saw the messages where he asked where I asked you to send an account to be paid for assisting my family. We know when she had issues in Dubai because that's one of the things that Bob Risky has been saying that ended their friendship. She said there was a time that Tonto DK, you know, 2019, 2018 period, Tonto DK had issues with the in Dubai and so she was arrested and detained for months. And it was Bob Risky that was running around, you know, Bob Risky was all over social media posting pictures of herself and Tonto DK trying to make it seem like Tonto DK was not in prison you know but it was when their relationship went sour uh, ending of 2019 2020 that Bob Risky revealed that she was indeed in prison and she was trying to cover because she was a good friend Tonto DK now said that see even the money you spent I already asked you to come and you know to send account number so i can repay you but you refuse to do it but that this girl lies and lies and lies and lies and lies she says somebody came and tried to say that she respects friendship a lot so when friendship goes sour, uh, she walks away because whatever she say publicly will be believed and she was the closest person to that individual so she tries as much as possible to ignore you know bob risky she then even though she said she wanted to ignore bob risky she still went to review some damning things about bob risky she says that the bentley that bob risky drives belongs to another person that she almost killed her ex-friend's son with jazz the rolex watch she parades as has uh, that she says her babe bought for her was actually actually belongs to tonto dk you know she says they gave somebody quit notice they just said a lot of things about themselves to cap it all up i thought she was actually going to end there tonto dk referred to bob risky as an ungrateful hoodlum she says you're an ungrateful hoodlum and i never regret anything in my life but i 
bright ever knowing this is don't Dike talking to bob risky she says you are you are disappointing as a human and you are disgusting as a friend you are a pathetic liar and this is the last you will hear from me obviously not the last because she's still responding to bob risky she said that i may do who you are today so i wouldn't be the one to bring you down the ones are in front i have saved you enough so keep ranting you know bob now decided to come and bring receipt that is where receipts not supposed to happen Bob said, <laughs> as of June of 2019, the relationship was still very, <laughs> was still very solid. She revealed the uh, um, uh, text message between herself and Tonto DK, where Tonto DK was like, ah, Bob, I love you with my life. I may not show it all the time, but I can die for you. Thanks for everything. You're my heaven in earth. Thanks for teaching me what friendship really is. Yeah. She, Bob Risky now said that she paid a lot of bills while she was friends with Tonto DK, that she's way richer than Tonto DK and so um all the bills that 20 dk has she's been paying but 20 dk owns are uh, owes are uh, 5 million um 5 million um 25 million or jerry about 5 million era. but 20 dk insists that it's 2 million and that but brisky has refused to collect it because she just wants to be able to you know hold that over 20 dk's head 20 dk now came back to say hey you this guy let me know <laughs> let me not keep talking yeah risky now said you have accepted this two million well you are not going to remember i'm the one who lent you the money so i'll remember that i lent you five million naira and let me know just insult you right both of them said they just said trading wars trading wars but brisk was not like don't to be honest why are you fighting me because she asked me to borrow another five million with your former debt i said no that you still have your old debt I don't start she said you never liked me and see it was my money that entered your eye i don't have a problem if you're paying all your debts but asking for more is a no now no more money you keep writing different motivational notes about me right that one started don't dk now came and said that bob risky's ass the leak <laughs> She says, but <laughs> guys, this thing is funny because I don't even know what I, I'm going to say. Tonto DK was like, she is the same person that goes to chemists to buy, you know, drugs and, you know, pads and medications for licking butts for Bobriski that every five has. She needed to clean Bobriski's butts with um, cotton wool because it was leaking and she was advising advising Bob Risky to stop anal sex uh that it was you know causing more harm than good for him people were like hey so his butt was cracked but they go they smell well loud she says that it's she now responded that see it smells so bad this is total decay talking she says it smells so bad he's literally one of the dirtiest humans his peer didn't like remember when his peer oh yeah, mike was saying a lot of things concerning Bob Risky you know she went back to Liberia she said a lot of damn things concerning Bob Risky and it was like Bob Risky was like she was just being ungrateful Tonto DK is saying it is true what Oye Mikey had said that she cleans his ass with two packets of cotton wool every five hours just because she wanted to be a big sis while advising him to stop anal sex Bob Risky is a fool coming for me when I have your lives in your hands in my hands this is what I would do for this ungrateful you know and he turns around to say she do you know when I started making money when you were still a dirty pig i still i will send you money almost every month so, and you would come up here to say thank you you are honestly delusional now bob risky's um former pe has even come to now back actress to into the case claim up she says that hmm, it directs money to spray this is um bob risky's former pa talking but it's not my cup of tea even if i know i won't talk because people that encourage you to talk are the same people that come in my DM to say I am grateful. She even quoted the response that Tonto DK gave where she affirmed to a follower that indeed Bob Risky's, you know, behind smells and stinks and leaks. She says, God punish all of you that said I was lying. Right? She said, I didn't want to put my mouth into this, but Tonto didn't borrow any money from you, Bob. Please stop this lie. Someone that blocked you on Instagram since 20 of March, early in the morning. You started calling everybody to inform them that she blocked you. Someone that don't have any contact with you will borrow something from you. <laughs> that is what <laughs> that is what um Tonto Dick um oh yeah Mike Bob Risky's from PA said Tonto Dick now said that two cents so she can introduce um you if you are interested to the Malamu changes for someone that she used to know. 
PS, I mean, that she can introduce us to person that changes money for them. It seems like this saga is not going to be ending anytime soon because there was a time that a popular blogger on Instagram actually carried it that Bob Risky's, you know, posted videos of that of you know very dirty looking behind and we were like, Oh no, this can't be Bob Risky. Bob Risky came out and you know dragged the certain Bob blogger just love and both of them had where they exchange. But it looks like this drama is not going to be ending anytime soon. Don't worry. Once any development comes out, I'm going to tell you this is where it is ending now. You know, OE Mike has come out to support um Tony Sadiki and it's like okay it's two against Bob Risky now with them giving themselves receipts to, Bob Risky is insisting that why Tony Sadiki is bitter and does not want to be friends with him anymore is because um she has refused to pay some of the debts that she owes and she wanted to borrow more even sent picture proof of you know Tony Sadiki messaging him one morning to say Bob I need to talk to you when you're awake let me know and then the next post although there were time differences you know this differences but the next post was the first of January 2020 when Bob Risky, you know, went on a rant on Tony to DK, calling her ungrateful, calling her bitter, calling her and hater, and all of those terrible, terrible things that they exchanged to each other and even brought to the internet and all of those things. But guys, let me know what you think concerning this current beef between Tony to DK and Bob Risky. Do you think that these guys have, you know, dragged this issue for so long? It should be under the carpet now. We don't want to hear more about it. Or are you here for all the violence that is occurring? Do you think that these people are maybe even friends and this is just their own way of staying relevant? Because at this rate, it's like, you know they rest, you know they tire, you fight, you know they tire, you know. I mean, like, must you continue to sub each other? Like, what, what, what exactly is the deal to the friendship? What exactly did you guys share as friends that you can't even get over you know what i mean how much in love are you guys with each other that the love has to turn to eight because it's like this thing this is not like love <laughs> if you ask me but then i would love to hear from you in the comment section what's up the thing that is transpiring currently between Tony dk and bob risky for my best friends i'll see you in the next video though guys bye